After two years at the helm of the 173rd Fighter Wing, Colonel Jeremy Bannon said farewell. Those two years saw the wing overcome more change and challenge than at any time in its history. It's been, as I tell people, it's been a running gunfight and it probably will be all the way up to the end. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's very satisfying for me to finish in this wing in particular, who's doing really tremendous work for the Air Force uh, as a key piece to pilot production and, you know, where America's air superiority begins. The crowning achievement during his tenure? Welcoming active duty airmen to the mission with a total force initiative. The wing added seven new aircraft and flies more hours and produces more pilots than ever before. And all of this while sequestration slash funds and budgets across the Department of Defense. So it's been a, a lot of challenges, but during all of that, it was really fun to see everybody rise to the challenge, continue to meet the mission, uh, and, and really put the ball out of the park with home runs day in and day out. So that's what I'm most proud of. Today, Bannon's final flight in the F-15. Family and friends greet him with the traditional icy blast of water and champagne, commemorating his final F-15 landing and more than 3,300 flight hours. Just one hour later, he accepted a flag in honor of his service and officially retired. Members across the wing presented Bannon with mementos and thanked him for his dedicated service and unprecedented leadership. There's a lot of great people sitting in this audience. Uh, there's a, uh, a few, quite a few actually, that have been wing commanders here before. But I'm gonna tell you this right now, we Bannon is the best leader I've ever worked for. Airmen of the 173rd Fighter Wing say they are sad to see him leave and they are quick to express their appreciation for his time at the base. Well, I just want to say thanks to the entire wing uh, for what they have uh, done uh, for the Air Force, for the community, for Oregon, uh, and it's been an absolute privilege to work uh, for the airmen uh, here, and I'm really going to miss uh, this entire wing. Reporting for the 173rd Fighter Wing, I'm Master Sergeant Jennifer Shira. You know, what, the thing that I'm probably most proud of is what the airmen have done over the last couple of years. And you look back and you see all the challenges that, that we have, as a wing have gone through. I think the last two years of trying to just make sure that, uh, that we were meeting our obligations while balancing our mission was, was probably the biggest challenge. I focus on the acronym TLC. You need to give your airmen some TLC. The T being trust. You need to trust uh, that the supervisors and commanders that you have in place are going to do the job for you. The L would be just loyalty. Loyalty to uh, the organization. Loyalty to the Air Force core values. Uh, not personal loyalties, but w for what's going to make this Air Force work uh, for us. And, and the C on TLC is for commitment. Commitment to making sure that the mission uh, here is uh, completed in style, on-time graduation of pilots with, with value and getting AF forces out there. So, Times that I had the, uh, the most fun, I would say, and, and my fondest memories would be putting on a set of ABUs because you blend in, you know, they, they can't see it coming, and just walking around base and seeing what airmen are doing, and showing up at the phase docks or going down to comm flight uh, or over to a security forces post change uh, or a briefing. 
uh, and just popping in and just, and it was just made your heart proud to see folks doing such a great job day in and day out and observe that and then be part of uh, their overall work schedule and environment. I thought that was the, the best and 